Man, what a beauty. What's going on, you guys? This is Anton, aka the Big Fella. We got Eric over here. Let's go, baby. We're about to go test out those froggy fellas that I got. Now, we're going to go try to get us a snakehead as well. Um, hopefully, we can hook into a couple of them because I want to try some for dinner and have my wife try some as well. So, sit back, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, y'all, we out here. I got my froggy fella tied on. I think Eric got his tied on too. And I see nothing but grass on that, uh, that shoreline there. So, we're going to try to hook us into a snakehead. All right, y'all, we are out here. Uh, look at all this grass right here. It's actually some submerged grass in the uh, boat too. I mean, um, in the bottom of this river too. Got the fish finder on, but so much grass, I can't get a depth reading. But we are at 78 degree water temperature. It's actually fairly chilly. But let me go ahead and pull out my froggy fella here. I got this on, I think it's 50 pound braid. I want to see it in action real quick. Yeah. We grinded it out the best we could, throwing what everybody's been telling us that they eat, and we didn't get not a single fish, not even a bass. Kind of disappointed, but we're about to go home and um, eat some crabs and drink a couple beers and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Well, y'all, it's Thursday, and since I haven't had any luck with the froggy fella or any luck last Sunday with anything we were throwing after those snakeheads, figured I'd go over to my old neighborhood and uh, give that a try and see if I can catch a fish on the froggy fella over there. All right, y'all, I'm here in my old neighborhood now. It's uh, actually pretty windy out here. But, um, I grabbed two rods. I didn't want to bring all four or five out here with me. So I mainly want to use the uh, froggy fella, and I also got a whopper plopper tied on, but water looking kind of rough so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use the whopper plopper effectively but I want to toss this froggy fella next to this grass and see if I can uh, entice a bass to come hit this thing all right you guys oh, what's this? big old bait I'm wearing tennis shoes or else I would just hop down and grab this thing It's like a big old deep diving crankbait there. This thing is monstrous. I don't know if uh, anything big like that's in here. Kind of nervous to walk down this path like I normally do. I mean, this little wing of this thing because uh, so overgrown. Can't see any snakes in here if there are any in here. The water is looking murky. I don't know about this place, y'all. Might not have much luck here. Luckily, there's uh, two other ponds on the property. You know, you can give them a whirl if uh, I don't catch anything here. But here we go with the froggy fella. They tied a floating platform over there so you can uh, swim to it and jump off and stuff. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's a temporary solution um, to fixing this dock. Might be a permanent solution. Who knows? Let's try here. 
You guys, I think I'm gonna go down there and try by those lily pads. Well, let me make a cast by this uh, this part of the dock here. Oh no. Um, my casting seems to be off today. I'm not, I don't know what's going on. Make a couple casts by this dock. But I wanna fish those lily pads over there because there's some shade and stuff there. If uh, if they are close to the banks, that's where they'll be in the shade there. Tell y'all what, though, that breeze feels good. In all honesty, I'd probably be blowing all over the place in my kayak if I was out here in the kayak today. Guys, also one thing I'm noticing about this froggy fella, I thought I was going to have to burn it to keep it in the top of the water column. But, um, you know, reeling it at uh, average speed, this is a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio reel. It actually um, stays up pretty good, so um, you don't have to burn it. As a matter of fact, you can fish it a little bit slower and it'll you know, stay pretty much at the top of the water column. But let me go ahead and fish this thing some more and see if I can catch a fish. All right, you guys, I also want to show you guys some tips and uh, tricks on how to fish this thing to keep it up in the water column. And go ahead and make that nice long cast out there. You want to hold your rod tip up. That's going to keep it, uh, you know, a few inches under the water surface. But don't worry, because when you get ready to set the hook, you can just drop it and then set. But, uh, you know, I'm reeling at moderate speed like this. And as you can see, it's like already on top of the water. Let me make another long cast out there. And, um show you just how just how I'm working this thing see if you can I don't know with this camera if you'll be able to see how close it is to the top of the water but right now I have it just barely breaking the surface just reeling it this fast so a couple of splashes that just happened this way probably bluegill but you know won't hurt to check Now on this rod, I have, I think this is 50 pound braid. Um, I've mainly had it on this rod because I was fishing those thick lily pads and if I was gonna be pulling out a snakehead, they have teeth. I wanted to make sure, you know, the line wasn't gonna break so easily with uh, the way the snakehead fight and all the lily pads I was having to pull them out of. But um, I think I'm just going to make a few more casts with this thing. Then I'm going to pull out the whopper plopper and see if I can catch anything. And then I'm going to go hit the other pond. That, that has a ton of uh, lily pads around the edges. And the fish might be hanging out near it. I'll tell you what though, this froggy fella looks fantastic in the water. Let me switch to this whopper plopper real quick. You might not be wanting frogs today, maybe bait fish. I don't know. Always got to play the game of figuring out what they want to eat. And once you can figure out what they eat, then you can have a really good day. All right, y'all, I'm over here at the medium sized lake now where it's a lot more lily pads up against the bank. And um, I think I might have a better chance here. I don't know. Um, Go ahead and fish all these lily pads the best I can, and then hopefully we'll snag a fish for the video. All right. See if I can pull a fish out of these lilies here. It's been a while since I fished at this pond. I feel like lily pads used to be more plentiful on this side of the uh, dock here. Like it used to come all the way up here. Now not so much. Well, I wanted to come hit this first because it's all shaded. Perfect.
you guys, it's been a rough couple of days trying to fish this week. Uh, couldn't get a single bite on anything I was throwing. I don't know if it was the weather or what was going on. Um, this is actually like the first week we've been in the 90s here in Virginia. Uh, so I don't know if all the fish were out deep when I was trying to bank fish. Or um, if all that hydrilla in the river was, you know, like had all the snakeheads hiding under that. But you know, it happens from time to time. So um, we're going to keep on getting after it, grinding it out and see if we can catch some fish. I fast forwarded through some of that fishing footage because I didn't want to bore you guys with uh, me not catching fish and I really wasn't talking in a lot of the clips that I had so I decided to fast forward at least so you guys can see some of the scenery that I was fishing in. Also don't forget this Wednesday I'll be announcing the winners of the three froggy feller jigs so make sure you guys look out for that video as well. Next Saturday you guys will get to see us doing some uh, crappy fishing. I'm going to try to do a catch clean cook kind of video and I'll uh, show you guys how I go about catching these things, cleaning these things and cooking them and uh, you know try to get that posted for you guys to see on Saturday. Um, right now it's Friday so uh, we're actually going to be heading out tomorrow so we're going to be doing some stuff to get the boat ready. I might even you know wash it up real good and uh, be able to take it out there and uh, do some crappy fishing. But um, I think that's all I have for you guys. That's going to do it for this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune into the next episode. You can catch me outside doing what I love most. Getting my dose of the great outdoors. Be sure to get y'all's too.